Unfortunately, we've come to the end of this particular series, uh, the Amstel Park experience, and it's not as if, I, I mean, I'd love to spend the rest of the day here, but I have an appointment, so I have to go. I can't play around all day, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so we're just walking through the shadowy bit, and one thought that is on my mind, it's about, well, you can't see me walking, and I've always struggled to uh, move forward with the camera without it sort of hobbling up, sort of bobbing up and down. And I'm trying to get rid of that, and I find the only way to do it is walk in a very silly way, and I, I just don't want to do that. So I'm sort of working on a particular way of walking, a manner of walking that is just below ridiculous, so it doesn't attract undue attention. Children don't cry to their parents and point at a man walking in a, in a strange way, none of that. Um, so when I've perfected that, you will hear about it. In the meantime, um, as we come out into the sunlight again, I think I'm going to reintroduce somebody who, uh, from way back, and that's James Bondios. He's the secret agent who's actually better than James Bond. And the reason I'm doing that is because in this very park, this is where the what critics call the greatest action scene in an action movie about people who like action ever took place. And basically what happened is, uh, coming in from the left, you've got James Bondius. He's got a suitcase containing evil plans that he's captured from very bad people. And he zooms across, does a backflip, and goes over this hedge, which you see on the right, just behind the dustbin there. Then, in a hot pursuit, come about six or seven super bad people, really, really bad, and they chase and dive over the hedge. And little do they know, he's got this pocket trampoline that just expands into this massive trampoline, and these bad people jump on it, and they're just enjoying themselves like children. They completely forget to go after James Bondios. So he jumps back over the fence, or over the hedge, and disappears down this shadowy bit here, and zooms off into the distance. And that's when the film ends, you know, the end uh, credits or titles, whatever they're called, come up and people in the audience are just weeping and screaming and thinking this is the most amazing thing they've ever seen. So on that uh, action-packed note, I'm going to say bye from the Amstel Park experience. <laughs>